Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about this camera once again, the Ektar H35. And no, this is still not a sponsored video. So these are all my thoughts. I am going to be completely honest with you. And I am still batting for this camera because I still see people on the internet saying that this is just a cheap little toy camera. You're not going to be able to get good shots with it. But I am here to tell you that that is incorrect. That is false. Do not believe these lies. If you are someone who has been dissuaded from getting this camera, or if you're just curious to see whether you can get good pictures with something that is relatively inexpensive and very, yeah, it, it is, it works like a toy camera, but I, but I like that about it. So, I will be showing you some photos that I took using this camera when I went to the States on vacation just a few weeks ago. I just got back, so I have a bunch of videos planned, but this will be my first one. And I'll show you some of the photos that I took using two different types of film stock. So one was the Ektar 100 and the other one was the much beloved Kodak Gold 200. It was my first time shooting with the Ektar 100, so I was very surprised by the results. I did not know that the film can do all the all of the things that it does and I'll be talking to you a little bit more about it but I'll just show you the photos that I took for now and you can see for yourself what you can really achieve with this camera uh, under the right conditions you know under the right lighting conditions if you have uh, a certain eye for things with good composition. Uh, not saying by any means that my pictures are perfect, but I am trying to be a better photographer and I love using the medium creatively. So yeah, enjoy the little presentation, enjoy the photos, and I will catch you soon.
right, I hope you enjoyed this little show reel of photos. As you can see, very different results from both of them. Like I said, I was really, really pleasantly surprised by the Ektar 100. I knew it was gonna work better when it was bright because of the low film speed at 100, and that made it less versatile when you're dealing with like overcast conditions, even when you're outside and when you're indoors, even when you turn your flash on and you have your subject right in front of you, those images aren't gonna be as saturated or as crisp as if you had a higher film speed that you were working with. However, we did get lucky as most of the photos I took on this camera was when we were in Washington and there was a very intense heat wave the entire time we were there. It was like 36 degrees outside, baking, but it was completely gorgeous because there were like no clouds in the sky and you had all of these like blue skies, green grass, and the saturated reds and greens just made every photo pop. And I, yeah, I think I just got lucky with that. Future reference, I am definitely not going to take this film stock if I know I'm going to a place that is not going to be sunny. So definitely not one for the UK, I don't think. Uh, but on the other hand, the Kodak Gold 200 is well known for being like a really versatile film. People love it. It gives you that like glowy, almost like that halation effect. And it gives you like a very nostalgic feeling, especially with like the soft grains, the more natural coloring and the lighting. I think the yellows really pop, the browns really pop and we were going through like North Carolina and Tennessee when I used most of the, the film here and I think those photos in the woods especially, even though it wasn't as saturated as the Ektar 100 or even something like a Ultramax would be with the greens, it had a very beautiful and like natural vibe to it. It did feel like you were flipping through pages of a journal and I like that feeling because these are photos of a vacation that I really enjoyed with my family, with my boyfriend and his mom and it's just I feel like I'm gonna print these out and they're really gonna give me like very happy nostalgic memories in future years to come. So let me know in the comments below which film stock did you prefer? Did you have a favorite photo or did you kind of like one aesthetic better than the other? Please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, please do give this video a like, please do subscribe. It will really help me out. And I'm very much looking forward to getting back on this channel, making more videos for you. And yeah, I will see you very soon. Bye bye.